Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sean from Tetra at Webs.com, YouTube.com says Sam Pete, and I would like to uh, announce that I have a review of the first Tegra 2 phone or Tegra 2 device on the Tetra at Webs.com, uh, this technology site. It's the Motorola Apex 4G for AT&T. It's very nice being it's our first dual core device in the United States and I'm going to review it to you, for you guys today. So at the top of the device, you'll notice there is a front-facing camera. I believe it's VGA, which is 0 .3, 0 0.3 megapixels. You have a speaker grill, and you have uh, light and proximity sensors, your Motorola branding, and a three, um, excuse, excuse me, a four, a 3.7 inch uh, display here. This is QHD, so it's 960 down. By 540 across, so very, very close to that Retina display resolution. Um, you also have menu, home, back, and search. And real quick uh, about the display, um, this is basically what people are about to switch to. They're going from they were basically went from HVGA, as you can see here on the MyTouch 3G slide, to WVGA, as you can see here on the Samsung Galaxy S 4G, to this uh, QHD display, which looks very nice, um, just in terms of pixel density. On the right side, you can see you have an HDMI, um, excuse me, a micro HDMI port, and also a micro USB port. On the top, you notice you have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, and you don't really have a, or you have a microphone also, a dual microphone for dual microphone noise cancellation. And you don't only have a power button; it's also a little scanner for your fingerprint, a fingerprint scanner, so you can use that to unlock your device. Um, it works. I'd probably give it a 50 50 percent chance, 50 50 uh, chance of working. Um, and it might, it varies in terms of how easy and how much functionality I'll be able to give to the user and how much, if it's going to be more of a gimmick, we'll, we'll come to find out. But personally, I tried to set it up a few times, about five minutes I took trying to set it up, and it was very hard to do. So, you also have your camera here, which is a 5 megapixel camera that records HD video at 30 frames per second. It's 720p if I'm not mistaken. And you also have dual LED flash. On the bottom, you also have your speaker grill right there. And on the left side, you have your volume marker buttons. On the bottom is absolutely nothing. And right there, just right below the screen, you have a microphone, I believe, right there. So we'll pop off the back cover for you guys to show you guys the internals. Um, let me just turn this device off real quick. There we go. Um, so let's see how we pop this thing off or turn it off. Um, I'm trying to look and see how I would how to get this back cover off. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, so I guess you just try to stick your fingernail into really any point. There we go. Into really any point on the, on the device. And you can see it's plastic. So you can see the battery is of size for milliamp hours. The battery is of size. And you can't really see that from the front. Thing you have to take it out. Contact number in case get all these. There you go. So it's of size. It's 1,880 milliamps minimum and 1,900 milliamps typical. So it's a very, very large battery. I'm guessing that's specifically for the uh, feature of the Tegra 2 processor and how much power it's going to need to be. So you can see you have a micro SD card slot there, and you also have a SIM card. Uh, like I said, this is a Tegra 2 dual core processor inside the device, so it's very fast. Uh, each core is clocked at one gigahertz each. You can just pop this right back on. There we go. Um, you have Wi-Fi 82.11n, uh, A, B, G, and N. You also have Bluetooth 2.1 EDR and ETDP support. So your usual suspects, um, you'll be able to find a hefty one gig of RAM, and ROM would be one gig also. 
overall this is a very very nice piece of hardware and this is finally what we really needed in the Android community as far as um, as far as high end devices and in my opinion this is the most high end device just spec wise that's currently available so just turn it on real quick there we go press it and you can see the boot up prominently displays the word dual core or the words dual core uh, technology just to let you guys know that this is a dual port. You also have Motorola. Yeah. No, he's not. So, I'll just give you guys a little comparison between the uh, differences. So, you can see this is the Blackberry Torch and the Motorola HX 4G, the T Mobile, Samsung Galaxy S 4G, the MyTouch 3G Slide, and you also have the. Oh, you see the little splash screen? And you also have the um, MyTouch 4G. You just turn both of these, or all of these devices, and you just turn them all on. Uh, there we go. You see how fast they're booted up, and that was booting up from a fresh start. It's not using any of that fast boot, fast boot cache technology or anything like that that you'd be able to find in one of the uh, other devices currently available, um, like the uh, MyTouch 4G here. Yeah. So you can see the screen comparison. Um, it's very nice. Uh, not as nice as this Sam uh, Samsung Vibrant in terms of color reproduction, just because this has a, uh, a very nice uh, Super AMOLED panel. But in terms of pixel density, I don't know if you can see it. The camera's not really doing it justice. But there's a very big pixel di uh, density difference. If you just look at the text comparison between the MyTouch 3G yeah, no slide, if you, if you want to look around, you can. and you got the Motorola HX 4G, and you got the Samsung Galaxy S4G. It's a big difference in terms of pixels. Um, pricing wise for the HX4G, you're getting on contracts one, um, $119.99 with a new to your agreement. For adding a new to your line, it's $149.99. And with a two year qualified upgrade, you're getting $129.99. So basically, and this is at Costco Wireless, um, if you watch any of my previous reviews, um, you'll be able to hear that they're overall, they're better because they'll be able to provide you with not only just your normal seven day return policy, but they offer you, it's, I believe, a full month's worth of warranty. I mean, excuse me, uh, return policy. So if you get it and you don't like it, you can test it out for up to two weeks or up to four weeks, I should say. And return it after that period whereas and they don't charge a stocking fee whereas you get a stock of a stocking fee and you would also uh, you would also um, have to or have a lesser time if you were to buy this directly from at and uh, this is a 4G device real quick so it has HSPA plus radio inside HSUPA is turned off but soon with the software upgrade from at and HSUPA will probably be turned on so real quick here, I'll show you guys the uh, another comparison with the Samsung Focus, which is a AT and T another AT and T device, but this happens to be a uh, Windows Phone 7 device from Samsung. Oops. Okay. So uh, I'll just show you guys a quick hardware comparison, stacking those devices. These thinner. Uh, the focus is longer and wider and I'll give you guys a comparison with the Galaxy S4G it's longer and wider than the Motorola HX4G but it's also thinner and it's also the HX4G is a lot heavier than the uh, than the Samsung Galaxy S4G and you can clearly see I'm not even going to compare this uh, in terms of thickness and weight because obviously the slide with its full physical port keyboard is going to be a bit heavier. So, uh, stay tuned for part two, which is going to be the software and overall review. And um, remember to stay tuned to techtoid.web.com and you can to the P for more uh, device reviews. So stay tuned for part two of the Motorola Atrix 4G video review. I didn't need to put it together. Nobody does it. We're supposed to do it.